Hey y'all, this is Andalee. I am a professional belly dancer from North Carolina, currently in Montpellier, France. And today is day two of my makeup vlogging challenge. You can find day one and my inspiration from Davina over at bellydanceatanysize.com. So I hope I have fixed a couple of my technical problems from day one. I'm using a different lens today that does better with low light. I added an extra light. Um, I still don't have a battery for my mic, so hopefully the sound will be okay today. Um, there's some buskers outside and um, you, my cat, you'll probably hear my cat again. <laughs> but anyway, so today's makeup look is my day to night look. This is my makeup look for when I wanna take my everyday makeup and kick it up a notch for maybe a job interview, a conference, or even going out to a nice dinner. So there's just a little bit more color added, a little bit more product, and um, I hope you like the look. I'm noticing on the camera it's not as dramatic as it looks in real life, but that's kind of always how it works with the camera. You have to apply even more makeup than you think you need to. Um, so yeah, this is the look. So now I'm going to show you what I used for my day to night look. I am not going to go over any of the products that I used yesterday, but I am wearing a few of them. I've got the same BB cream on, concealer, mascara, and powder. So if you have any questions about those products that I used, check out yesterday's video, day one of the makeup vlogging challenge. So first of all, I applied my BB cream just like I always do and then the concealer and then I did my eyeliner. So for today's eyeliner, it's not that much different than yesterday's. It's still the NYX or NYX. Somebody please correct me in the comments so I can stop saying both. And this is black brown shade 931. I tend to stay away from black because it's a little bit too harsh for me, especially with my fair skin and blonde hair. I wear black mascara, obviously, but black eyeliner and kind of gray eyeshadows, they just don't look very flattering on me. Obviously, I wear black for performances and photo shoots and anytime I need really dramatic makeup, but for everyday makeup, I tend to stick to browns, black brown, that kind of thing. After I do my eyeliner, I do my eyeshadow. So this is the Makeup Revolution palette in Iconic One. This is a dupe for the Naked palette from, I believe it is uh, Urban Decay. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I threw away most of my neutrals when I bought this palette. And I kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> There's one palette that I really miss. It's my Physician's Formula um, Baked Collection. You can use it wet or dry. Um, it comes in three shades. I was using Baked Oatmeal, I think, and another one, which I can't remember the name of, but I got rid of those two and I wish I had it. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, these are, this. I think I bought this at Ulta and it was really affordable. I'd like to pick up the other ones that they have at some point, but I'm trying not to refill my makeup collection too quickly because I did just purge everything. So for my lid, I did this all over. This one right here, it's kind of a grayish taupe. It does have a shimmer. And then I added this second to lightest color um, right below my eyebrow. This is um, got a little bit of a pink undertone to it and it does have a shimmer as well. I also put it sort of in my inner eye through here. And then I filled in the corners with this brown color here, um, just kind of right in here at a little angle, uh, just to give it a little bit of depth. Um, this brown color, I'm not very happy with it because it's not dark enough. That's what I miss about my old palette from Physicians Formula, the brown. It was a similar shade um, but I could put it on a lot darker. So this, in this palette, that's the darkest brown that this palette comes with. 
This one, as you can see, is kind of pink. This one is kind of olive, and these two are, are gray-blue colors, which I really need to stay away from. So um, if I pick up another one of these palettes, I'll be looking for a darker brown, or maybe when I'm home, I'll see what Physicians Formula has, if they still have um, the uh, makeup collection that I uh, used to have, so the baked oatmeal collection. After that, I put on a, another layer of eyeliner just on my top lid because putting makeup on covers it up. And, you know, there's lots of different theories about when you should put eyeliner on. I put it on both before and after my eyeshadow just for a little bit of extra staying power. After that, I put on my blush. This is Physician's Formula. And here we go. I probably should be wearing a little bit more of it, but I'm uh, get, getting passport pictures done today for my visa, and I don't want my makeup to look too harsh. This is Blushing Peach, and I try to stick to blushes that have peach or orange tones to it because I have a warm skin tone. Peaches and oranges look really good on me, so with my lipsticks and my blushes, I try to stay in that zone. I mean, I can pull off lipsticks and, and blushes that are pink as well, but I think peach just kind of pulls out those warm tones in my skin. Speaking of warm, this is L'Oreal True Match W2. I put this on for some reason after I put on my blush um, because I felt like my blush was too strong and I don't always wear another powder with my day to night look, but the humidity is really high today and I wanted to, to get a, just a little bit of extra coverage. So this is True Match Super Blendable Powder in W2 Light Ivory. I generally wear Light Ivory number two in most of my stuff. I think you'll notice that my concealer was number two. Um, some of my other makeups, sort of concealers and blushes and sorry, not blushes, um, powders and foundations are kind of in the number two zone. Um, and I can wear neutral or warm depending on the makeup. So for L'Oreal True Match Collection, I, I tend to be a little warm, and especially now since I have a bit of a tan, um, it works well for me. This is a great uh, little compact to keep in your purse um, for midday touch-ups, or if you don't feel like doing a full face of makeup, just kind of really quickly and then add some mascara and you're almost good to go. Maybe a little bit of concealer too if you need it. But um, I'm not incredibly happy with this powder, but I am really picky about powders. I have yet to find the perfect powder. Um, I really love the Neutrogena Invisible Powder, um, but it doesn't have any color in it. So if I want something with more coverage, I need to find a better powder. So if you have any suggestions as to which powder I should try, I'm open. I'm open to drugstore brands or sort of the high-end counter, makeup counter brands. Um, I don't think I have all of them here in France, but I have a lot of them. There's definitely a MAC store here, although I wasn't super happy with my MAC powder either. Um, and I think we have Estee Lauder and Clinique and a few of those other sort of uh, big names. So if you have any suggestions, I want a powder that's matte, that has good coverage, and that matches my skin tone well. All right, so after the powder, I did, um, after that L'Oreal powder, I did another layer of powder with my Neutrogena um, powder invisible, what's it called, rice protein complex powder, matte powder, whatever, shine control. Then I did my lipstick. This is Revlon, you can tell by the beautiful packaging. Um, Rich Girl Red is the color, number 830. It is their super lustrous lipstick line. So um, this does have a little bit of a shine to it. It goes on like a lip balm. You'll notice it does have that orange undertone that I was talking about. Um, I really like the color on this one. I really like the way it feels. It feels like a lip balm. It doesn't feel gummy or drying like a lot of other lipsticks do. It doesn't have a weird smell or taste. The only problem with this one is that it doesn't have very good staying power. So it'd be 
probably a lot better if I used a lip liner, but I don't really have a good lip liner that matches this one, and I really never bothered to get one. I have such a hard time with lip liners. Um, any tips, I'd be happy to hear them. But that's basically my makeup look today. So it's so just a little step up from yesterday. Uh, tomorrow I'll be bringing you an even more dramatic look. And thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.